I got a suggestion on my Patreon to do Reaper and Blues from Deadbolt. Don't know what Deadbolt is at all. Seems like something to do with monsters or vampires. So I want to watch a little bit of this debut trailer. Let's watch it together and then let's go and listen to the song. Huh, cool. So this came out in 2016, and it's by the same devs who made uh, Risk of Rain and Risk of Rain 2, I would assume. To be honest with you, this is not a game that's necessarily on my radar, but this reminds me quite a bit of Hotline Miami. It has a similar style, but obviously there's this very dark, noir-y sort of like, this reminds me of kind of a bit of, of Blade, the, the movies. My favorite aspect of video games is usually stealth, and I love stealth games in general, especially when you look at series like Metal Gear Solid, Siphon Filter, and Splinter Cell. Like, those are games that really appealed to me. So that was super cool. First of all, the music is super good. What I want to do is now go back and listen to Reaper and Blues and sort of deduce a little bit of this character, the Reaper character that we just saw in that trailer and sort of the significance of this tune within the context of the game, uh, obviously without knowing what's happening in the game. So this is a bit of a pseudo blind react. <laughs> This reminds me so much of this like good cop bad cop vibe. This Reaper character, I just picture him like, you know, chilling with a cigar, super casual, cool as a cucumber in any scenario type character, chill aesthetic, juxtaposed with like what we just saw in the gameplay footage was just full of like, just, just steamrolling. Uh, vampires and sneaking up on them and and taking them out with great force and violence and <laughs> This layering in here is really interesting too because we started kind of simply and as we continue on in this track there's more and more stacking of instruments and we're leaning into this blues sound which admittedly I don't know very much about but there is this continuation of this build up with instruments and with sound effects and with this sort of like scratch track there in the background. When we're thinking about characterization we're thinking about how this character is to be portrayed or, or how this environment is to be portrayed. Really this sense of, of ease within this character and this sense of like murderous brutality 
quality, yet you'd go and have a drink at a bar with this character. It's definitely a person you enjoy spending time with, but you know that on the flip side, there is a super incredible like capacity to get the job done. It's probably scary to you, a person sitting with this character, but that, you know, it is pointed very specifically at, at vampires or monsters or whatever. <laughs> So funny this music reminds me so much of my dad because my dad loved blues and he loved hearing guitars just like kind of riff wee -oo, wee -oo. i think that plays into this danger aspect of like yeah we're chill but i will get you this is such like a vibe you know like this is this is a tune that you like vibe out to or maybe it's even like the theme song of the reaper as they approach these places where these vampires are there's real like all right putting in the bullets and getting ready to go and i'm interested in in this acoustic guitar as well and how we we've had multiple guitars in this just this this really incredible vibe of violence and peace at the same time and this chilled out death sentence essentially <laughs> And I think again that that speaks to, if we remove the fact that I have experience in the classical music world, and I'm always talking about how video games are the evolution of classical music, in a lot of ways I feel like video games are the evolution of music in general. And I think like in this case, Chris Christodolo, Chris, Chris Christo, Chris Christodolo. Five hours later. I think that Chris Christodolo has really got a, a knack of this blues musicality. And it's incredible to hear a composer that is doing their thing in the 2000s, taking what we know of as blues and really elevating it and flipping it and and modifying it and adding its own their own flavor to it and 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 I think it's just this this piece is super juicy. I only wonder what this probably was in context.
Okay, so this is the music that plays inside the Reaper's home before missions. It's so cool, and again, I think it gives us this characterization of this character and violence and, and classiness and, and aesthetic of, well, I mean, look at this. He lives in a place with like boxes he's, he's never unpacked. So there's a sense of like, he's always on the move and he's always like shifting. And so it's so fun to listen to pieces that I wouldn't necessarily know about. And I'm glad that this was suggested to me. Music is always there to tell a story. It's always there to uh, infer character thoughts and feelings and, and personalities. And I think in this case, it, I think it really works to give us the sense of this cool as a cucumber guy, kind of classy, uh, you know, I'm just looking at this fireplace and just imagining him just like chilling, smoking a cigar, uh, the boxes that are unopened because he's probably always on the move and doesn't have any time because he's always busy doing something like it's crazy. And, and I just love video games for this reason. I, I love that video games enable us to, to tell stories with music and and allow us to experience things as gamers, but also just music in a video game really elevates the experience, so it's cool. Anyway, uh, feel free to check out the links in the About section. If you want to join the Discord, feel free to do that if you haven't already. And uh, if you like this stuff, feel free to subscribe to it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.